Uh, this video is to, uh, Lacey Green. Um, I love you, Lacey. You are smart. You are brilliant. You, um, give a lot of helpful advice, not only on the topic of sex, but, um, on the topic of relationships as well. Um, but I just watched her video from three years ago about, uh, titled Forever Alone, and, um, it's true, the ratio of uh, people being alone forever is slim to none because of 7 billion people being in the world. True. That is very true. But not a lot of people are meant for college. That's the way I think of people being in a relationship. Uh, just how college doesn't work out for everybody, how you in college may not pair, that's how I think of really, me and relationships. Me and relationships don't pair for some reason. Because, I'm going to be openly honest, my first relationship, she was, excuse my French, fucking crazy. I felt like Michael Douglas in Fatal Attraction. And, um, I, would, I was getting the constant text and the, uh, you know, the, uh, I'm leaving you, I'm sorry, I'm coming back. And even when I said, it's over, I do not want to talk to you, do not text me, you're freaking me out, you're giving me nightmares. So, and, and, um, she kept texting and pretty much, uh, stalked me, and I got a new, uh, cell phone number, and everything stopped, and, uh, I haven't heard from her since, and, um, uh, which is great, actually. Uh, then my second relationship was in high school, and, um, uh, she cheated on me, and, uh, so I have trust it, trust issues. That's for one. Um, I didn't find that that she out that she cheated on me until later because uh, she, since she knew she cheated, she felt she must have felt guilty, and so she had the perfect opportunity to accuse me of cheating when I took a friend of mine out for her birthday when she clearly wasn't doing anything that day. And I felt bad because when it's your birthday and you, get, and you don't do anything on your birthday uh, and you're just sitting home by yourself, no no birthday cake, no... And I, and I felt bad and I took her out for birthday lunch and then uh, I found out later that day that her family would, had birthday cake for her with, with, which which I was happy to hear about that, and, uh, I just felt bad that she wasn't doing anything that day, so, I took her out to lunch, and, and, uh, you know how sometimes when you're at the right place at the wrong time, well, I was at the right place at the wrong time this particular day, because I was leaving the Chinese restaurant with, um, uh, this friend of mine, and then she, with her aunt, comes in, she comes in the store, mall with her aunt, and she's like, has a shell shock surprise on her face, like, I have female friends, and, uh, so she didn't talk to me, or didn't say she loved me unless I bought her something, so, my first two relationships were terrible, because they were, in, in, in a lot of ways, uh, my first, really, my first girlfriend, when I had money, we would do stuff. When we didn't, she's like, I want to do something, and I say, I'm sorry, but I don't have anything on me. And she would beg me to do stuff, and I'm like, I can't. I, 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 I just don't have the finances right now. And, um, same thing with, uh, my second relationship, although it seemed a little meaningful, I thought, 
Well, obviously, I was deceived. Um, in my third relationship, uh, and the third relationship, I definitely felt like, um, uh, Woody Allen in Annie Hall, where he, where they're on a plane, it's towards the end of the film, where he's like, our relationship is like a shark. A shark has to keep moving in order to survive. And that's what we have right now. A dead shark. And um, they break up and same thing, that's what we did. We broke up and um, we're still friends. It's just the fact that uh, as, a real, as a couple we didn't work out. So... Ironically, my life is like m movies when it comes to relationships, but see, me and relationships do not pair. Either I have a girlfriend, she's completely psychotic, or she cheats on me and blames that I, and says I cheat on her, or the relationship j just doesn't fit. But, Lacey, I'm asking you this, uh, and I opened up about everything. Uh, I, it's not that I, have a fear of being alone. It's that I know I'm gonna be alone for the rest of my life. Um, because I can't fit, uh, for some reason, I don't feel like I was born in the right generation. Because um, some of my favorite music is music from the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, 70s. I like some of the music from the 80s, but I'm not a huge fan of it. I, I, of everything. I, I'm a fan of Michael Jackson, that's for sure. But there's very little music from the 80s I actually like. I, I hate the music of the 90s altogether. But I love Sinatra, I love Dean Martin, I love Elvis Presley, I love the Beatles, I love the Stones, I love the Animals, I love the Monkeys, I love the Bee Gees. I love classic movies, and black and white films. I'm, I'm, I like some modern films. Uh, the Judge, excellent film if you haven't seen it. Uh, the Godfather series, I love that. I love the Die Hard series. I love Casablanca. I love Woody Allen films uh, with passion. I love, um, uh, some Superman films. I'm not a fan of that. I love horror films. They're my favorite, uh, uh, um, genre. Because I'm, I like to read about psychology and just watching what some horror films do to me or do to other people. I, I just love it. Uh, I, I'm a sci-fi guy. I'm a sci-fi guy. I'm being honest here. I'm being a, I'm a sci-fi guy. And, but I hate, I absolutely hate 2001 Space Odyssey. And if any of my subscribers are watching this, if you don't like the fact that I don't like 2001 Space Odyssey, please don't ridicule me. Please don't, uh, call me names because... That's a problem with social media. It makes it brings out the worst in people sometimes. Um, but I absolutely hate 2001 Space Odyssey. It just lags on and on. But anyway, let me see. This is my question. If I have a gut feeling I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life, how do I go about making the right friends so I feel somewhat that there's that type of uh, emotions or feelings you would have in a um, intimate relationship. Uh, that's my question. Um, bye.